say this one's for you tonight um catching up on vanderpump i can see that you had such a great video idea for that too i, I think really we're gonna excited. do it we're gonna do it i think we're gonna do it we've got time now listen guys sorry if drinking bros drinking broettes sorry which one are you on today drinking broettes on? we are this is drinking brought to broettes. you by ghost bed <laughs> Um, sorry if we're a little bit too upbeat for what's happening in the world right now. Oh, yeah. Um, because we recorded a little bit before in we in a we hearken back to a simpler time when yeah. we just want to have fun. We don't know what's happening right now, we but don't. we're okay. We're in the bunker, and we figured if anything, too, we will keep your mind off of it. Yeah. With this episode. Yeah, because our minds are completely off of it because we don't even know what it is. It's important to be prepared, just like we talked about the other day. It's important to be prepared. It's important to be aware and be safe, but at the same time, still enjoy life. Don't overstress. Um, Enjoy the time that you have with your family off. Laugh a bit. And so maybe we can do that with this episode for you guys. Hopefully. This is just going to be a rando one, right? What are we doing? Well, I mean, you have a story to tell me that you have to tell me. Oh my gosh. And the rest of the world and the drinking brewette community. And then we're going to go into some, like, if you could pick this or would you rather this um, that yeah. we've gotten from, like, Andy Cohen show or just things yeah. that we are both curious we'll just on. Do and you guys can round. play along with us too and yeah. see if you agree or disagree. See which one you would pick. Yell at us for the ones that we, we pick. We do. Yeah. It'll be fun. It will be fun. You may hate us by the end. <laughs> you may be like, oh my gosh, Who we're the best fuck friends. Is this person? Yeah. Yeah. Oh my gosh, should we just become best friends? That would be a fun one to do too. It would be like, answer at the same time. Yeah, that's what Andy Cohen does on the show. And okay. that's what I was trying to find, but I can't. Like, I don't, that's so weird too. We could maybe think of why. some that's like, who's your biggest crush? Yeah. Well, we already know that for us. One, two, three. Post Malone. Post Malone. Obviously. Is this where the, is this the story that I need to tell? Yes. Okay. okay. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, you could probably tell it because Ross has told you two times. I've told you before. You, I mean, you don't have to really get into it because I know you guys told s- it on Ross Patterson. Yeah. But I will say this is, um, so first of all, you guys have, you guys listen to us. You guys know how much I crush on, you know, Post, Post Malone. Malone. And not just music, you actually love him. him as a person. And you want to like, meet him and you want to squish his little cheeks. And yeah, you wanna- well, I just think that, like, I do love his music and I've, I, talent's great. Passion is amazing. Like, I love sure. someone who's passionate about what they do. But to me, I have seen, I feel like, so many different videos of him and TikToks and everything just of who he is as a person just a little and how loving he is and giving and just, like, down to earth and gives everyone the time of day. And I'm like, dude, this guy's so awesome. And it's just video after video after video. Yeah. So it's funny because I did get a couple questions from some broettes and they hit me up in my DMs and they were like, hey, just out of curiosity, what do you think is going on? Like, what are your feelings on the whole Post Malone thing? And everyone's saying that he's on drugs and yada, yada, yada. And to me, I was like, that's kind of ridiculous. I was like, here's the thing. It's like, I under- I said, I think it's good that people are so concerned about him, right? It shows yeah. how much people love him. Mm-hmm. So I think that's one good thing to take away right. from it. But what I did see, it was flooding the TikToks, is people were posting videos of him at his concert. And, you know, his eyes are closed or, like, rolling back. Or he's, like, on the ground. He's just being dramatic. But everyone's like, this is how he's always been at his concerts. If you've never been to his concert, that's the only reason that you would ever buy into this. Yeah. If you've been, you're like, that's what he does but here's the thing. every that's single That's what a lot of time. artists do, like Billie Eilish, right? Or other different artists. They get really into it and they have like certain tics and things yeah. that they do. It's just what they do to perform. Yeah. And so I think a lot of people were comparing him to Mac Miller or like all these other rappers who took their lives. And mm-hmm. so they were just afraid, like, oh my God, he's spiraling out of control. Or OD'd, but yeah. Or OD'd yeah, yeah. or whatever. And they, they were afraid that he could take his life. And part of me was like, okay, I think it's good that people are concerned on how much they love him, but they really need to give them the benefit of the doubt and stop comparing him to everyone else. Like, everyone's their own individual person. Yeah. So that was just my biggest thing there. I was like, people need to kind of stop freaking out It was out stupid. About that. It was just fucking boomers saying it anyways. Yeah. Because like, if you ever, like I said, if you've ever seen him in concert, you're like, that's how he is. He rolls his he- eyes back in his head when he's like singing this exact song this, yeah. at this exact point. Like he does it the same every time. Um, he slipped one time. 
But yeah, in this next video show, this too. show that I saw that I will get into with the show that I saw was right after all this came out. And Did he, he was kind of like making it all? fun of it. Oh. Him and his dad made fun of it. Why the fuck? Dude, this dance computer, man. <laughs> Who just did that, though? Dance computer. But here's the thing, too. Would never Do that? No. We need to not use a dance computer. Yeah, um, dance computer sucks. <laughs> but one of the things, too, though, is um, I thought it was good that obviously he addressed it to it seemed like multiple concert crowds yeah. he just said hey um you know i hear that you guys are concerned or you guys think i'm doing drugs i'm absolutely not i think that's good that he did yeah. that because obviously he calmed everyone down but beyond that it's kind of like what, what else can he do yeah you know no i mean he thought it was funny it was really just like it was it was everybody that was saying it didn't know him yeah they've never been to a show that's gotta be they frustrating don't. though. As a like, I mean, I know that's kind of part of how everything goes, right? I'm sure. Being yeah, a it celebrity, comes with it. It comes with it. With and territory, but yeah. that's fresh. That's gotta be. He's frustrating. been beloved. Well, he gets a lot of shit, but like he's mostly beloved, right? And so yeah, like you're I gonna see. have to deal with some of the stuff. Sure. Like as big as he is. Yeah. I'm. He definitely made fun of it. It was funny, and for everyone that was at the concert, we got the like fuck these motherfuckers uh, yeah. right and you're well, like yeah oh i'm so fucked up and i think after like Lil peep died or whatever which was his good friend mm -hmm. he stopped doing hard drugs and he drinks a lot like i'll give him that like he does drink a lot he's always drinking bud light he's drinking a lot but he has been tweeting and tweeted a while ago that he's off of drugs and never been happier. So, like, he smokes cigarettes and he drinks. He's 24. Yeah. That will get you fucked up. Like, he's good. Yeah, but, like, who like, who at 24 wasn't constantly drunk anyway? I was always drunk at 24. Like, right? really? So, we went backstage after this last show. This Ugh. is the quick version of the story. And um, we went back with Xander. Papa. Oh, Sam. I'm going to give a shout out just because, like, we would not have gone back there without him. I will tell you this. It seems like, okay, so I met Xander, one of the nicest guys Super ever. Nice. Very loving. Um, happens to know literally everyone. Yeah, it's kind of like what he I feel like does. And I'm just like, what? he's one of those people like, that you go, right? You kind of wonder, like, how? Oh, my well, God, you just crazy. go. He's one of those people that you're like, what do you do? <laughs> like, if you ask him, like, what do you do for work? There's a couple people in life that will be like, I do a lot of things, right? You're like, but how do you have a Porsche? Like, how do you, do you know what I mean? Like, what is it that you do? Uh -huh. Not really clear. He well, just he owns connects. A, he's the CEO, right? He owns a company, correct? Is that what he told you? Oh, no, I thought. He tells some people some things sometimes. Oh, but I anyway. Said, no, I, thought, I thought he um, owns H Factor. Yeah, so he's like, part owner, owner and some. investor in like a lot of different things Got it. so he's oh. that guy and then he kind of connects people i don't well, know how obviously he's really good at investing investing and connecting yeah so he's sort of like a connector where he's like this person needs this from this so i'm gonna be the connector of that he's amazing you at don't it. make money from doing that so i'm always like how are you but i'm sure there's perks to it which eventually once you connect people and yes. they get what they kind of need and they're successful from it yes. they're kind of like hey man let's bring you in because obviously you're a good asset to have yeah he's great i mean he was like one of the perfect people to have and i feel like in your corner on her side and um in this case it worked where he was like okay come backstage just be you know so you have to act cool and go back there which i'm not good at doing like i, I would, hate yeah acting cool it's my least favorite thing to do obviously where you have to be like all right yeah don't act like it's a big deal. Don't be excited about it. Like, just walk past and get in, right? Yeah. Um, so the whole time I had to do that. I feel like I would have done that, but part of me still would have looked at you and been like, Look! Right, right. And I had no one. <laughs> like, I had no, no one, one to do that just, with, right? Like where no one can see, but yeah. just to get it out. So even because the other girls that. that were there were like oh. being cool too. And so I was like, huh, huh. Yeah. I have no one. So I had to act cool, whatever. So we went back there. Ross is like, I really want to play beer pong with Post Malone. It's like a dream, right? And Love Post at that yeah. point had already beat a bunch of people. He was drunk. He was like right after his show. He's like, I'm fucking done. Like, I don't want to play. And Ross talked enough shit to him. And his friends came up to him enough and were like, hey, dude, he beat like three of, people yeah. before you. And he was like, Zhoom. like it was like a movie. What? Like he turned around. And he's like, what? <laughs> and he was like about to hang out with his girlfriend and uh -huh. have like a nice evening. And he was basically just like pushed her away. And was like, let's go. Took off all his clothes. 
He was in his boxers. Ross was like, okay, I guess we're doing this. Took off his clothes. So they're in their boxers playing beer pong. Um, and it kept getting escalating. So Ross won. Yeah. He gets pissed. Escalate. Double or nothing. Ross won. He gets pissed. I remember talking about this too because I was like, I had no idea Ross was that good at beer pong. Well, he's a professional frat guy. <laughs> if he could if he could choose between being still married to me and having his kids or going back to uh, college and living in a frat forever, yeah. if he had that choice, this is perfect for the show that we're about to uh-huh. do, he would absolutely choose like, that. would you rather? Oh, he would be like, get rid of these bitches. I'm fucking going back I to mean, college. I mean, I'll be honest. My first it year of his- college was partying and beer pong the whole time. Like, that's all it was. He will say it's the great. It is, to this day, the greatest times of his life. And I'm like, the kids, me, no. <laughs> uh, no. Nope. The Nothing birth of your first compare. son, right? <laughs> birth of the first son, second son. I don't know. I guess yeah. we're at the fair now. I guess we're. Oh no, we're in Santa Monica. Yeah, we are in Santa. How fun is it? Okay, yep. I think that's the Santa Monica. Sweet. Pier- oh, oh my gosh, we're Dan's in the- computer is giving us a. This is great. If you guys are watching, I hope, like, the show on YouTube right now. I hope some DPs <laughs> don't pop up. Oh my god, I, yeah, I hope a <laughs> dick pic. Oh my god, that would be terrible. <laughs> that would be the best. Dan has a screensaver all of his dick pics. <laughs> Sorry, we're like. Li- oh my gosh, if anyone would, it's him right (laughs) so point of the story is whatever they keep like escalating escalating ross is a frat boy yeah all-star and yeah malone is you know self-proclaimed redneck all-star so they're head to head like the best of the best beer pong wagering money wagering money they keep escalating escalating by the time they get to the last game it's like okay 20 grand like 20 grand Post Malone said, if I lose, you owe my buddy from high school two grand. If you lose, or if you win, whatever. If you win, I, Post Malone owes Ross 20 grand. So Dude, that's crazy that he did that. Because I remember hearing the story that Ross told, right? Yeah. And they were like talking about the wagering. And he's like, okay, now I love like the gentleman bet of it. Twenty where, grand, yeah, yeah, twenty grand. And then he also was a gentleman in this fact that, like, listen, I can. He didn't know to him, him. Yeah, that's like chump change. I'm sure he doesn't know what we have. He yeah. doesn't know who we wa- we are. I mean, I will say though, twenty grand still. So that's a fucking shit ton. Yeah. Like, if I had to pay that, I would be Ross would be dead, <laughs> dead. Like, five even five grand to me is like dead. Cool. He'd be dead. Yeah. So the fact that they were doing that, I was like, okay, what the fuck? Like, I'm back there. You know this the backstage was so small and intimate enough that it's like you have to be somebody to be back there so it's kind of like whoever this guy is i don't know who the fuck he is but he must have something to be back here right so he was like okay two grand to my high school buddy 20 grand from me that's super sweet of him though still because he is super sweet tiffany except for when he's playing beer pong so he is the sweetest nicest guy exactly how you want him to be Uh uh-huh beer pong forget it he is like talking shit. He's an asshole. He's fucking pushing people away. I mean, away. I gotta be honest though. Hey, look, he's competitive. I am. Um, you will like that about him. So competitive to a fault. Where so this is him. We have had like family game nights with like Chris's family oh, or friends. Mm-hmm. And like, I don't give a shit if your mom, like everyone's trying to let your mom win. I will never. I don't care win. if she's 90 and she's going to die. No. Not happening. I'm winning, and when I I'm and it's I'm, and by the way, like Chris is a super sore loser, and so are like oh geez, oh what yeah, what a pair you guys are. <laughs> yeah, right? My God, you can't play anybody, right? Because Chris hates losing. Oh God. So when he loses, he always makes excuses for oh, it. Yeah. And then of course I'm explaining why I won and how I won. And oh, he I'm sure he like loves that, that either. Because I'm just kind of like, no, I won fair and square, dude. And he's like, no, 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 no you cheated. And I'm like, oh my God, I did not. Because so him and his family have a whole thing with Monopoly, right? They all play Monopoly do. and they literally get into like family feuds with Monopoly. Mm-hmm. So for the longest time when I first met them, I was like, I'm not playing with you guys because no. number one, you guys make up your own rules and change them nonstop, mm-hmm. which would piss me the fuck off. Number two, I'm winning. Number two, I'm going to win. So the one time I did play with them, right? So Chris's brother-in-law, who's married to his sister, right? Him and I are texting because he's away and he's like, hey, good luck with the family Monopoly game. Like, yeah. They're just crazy cool yeah. and i texted him and i was like showing him pictures of the money and everything and he's like dude you're kicking ass i was like i know and <laughs> of course like the in-law like yeah right? yeah yeah they're like on each other's yeah. side but i'm just i can get that because i am competitive to a fault. so this is just another reason why you would love him this is not a deterrent I would just be, for you i, I yeah. would probably hate it if i was playing against him though oh yeah let's just be real yeah yeah, yeah. I would in the moment. Or I'd be if like, your I love husband you. was the one that was playing for the fucking money, like, oh, I probably cheer for post. 
<laughs> there was some there was some part of me that was like yeah man you got it and then i was like okay ross ross no yeah. this is you oh, this is but you i will yeah. say if there's like 20 grand on the line i'll be like okay baby whatever you want exactly I'll suck your dick so much I've tonight, his, like, like i'll lick your booty hole like what do you want <laughs> like, yeah whoa. it's all going down whoa. <laughs> yeah we'll do it all i will Pinkies do it all in there piggy it doesn't have to be fingers. clean listen yeah. 20 so, grand yeah yeah, so I've got Ross's like pants around my, <laughs> on you know like a prize oh, fighter yeah. around my neck. I'm like, come on, babe, we got this. Blah blah blah. Um, I'm smoking and drinking the whole night because like, what else yeah. is there? And going back to the drug thing, like there was no one there that was doing drugs. Like it was, it's a vibe that you get, right? Especially yeah. when it's three in the morning. If people are doing drugs and coke, like it's a completely different vibe, oh, which sure. it was not there. It was kids drinking beer playing beer pong cool. it was innocent and That's really fun. cool actually nothing like and beer gross too. about it yeah like beer not even really hard liquor yeah. like there was but it was like it was fully still like no one was going over there to yeah. drink the hard liquor anyway so ross wins post malone crumples like to the ground crisscross applesauce head in his hands he's just like so bummed and i was like holy fuck and i'm like He's basically like, get out. Like, everyone's like, all right, you guys got to go. Like, yeah. the, fuck this. Like, he's pissed. And we're like, oh, my God, we're getting kicked out. And we're like, sorry, man, we love you. Like, thought we were, like, playing a game, whatever. And, like, he was just like, get away. He was, like, pushing his friends away. <laughs> get away from me. Get away. Um, and then finally he just, like, as we're leaving, he, like, pops up and, like, gives us a hug. And he's like, nice game. Good game, man. Like, that was yeah. fucking crazy. And, like, I was like, he loves you. Thank you so much. Like, I would do the same. Didn't I mean would, to, like, I, I, you know, hey, we're I would good. Be really we're good. At first and then, yeah. And so we're not, but, like, trying to get money or anything. We just, no. like, left. We're like, cool. See you, la- see you later. Um, and the next day, his road manager texts Ross and is like, uh, heard Post lost a bet to you. He owes you 20 grand. Just give me your wiring information. And still we're like. So we've got like stuff to do that day. Yeah, and what we're a like stand up, dude. Right? The, again, and every this, part of this story makes him amazing. I feel like this just solidifies all the he's videos great. and things that he's I great. thought in my head. So he wants a rematch. We're down for it. Yeah. You and I are gonna have to be there. Broettes yeah. are gonna have to have some part. Some we're either part. cheerleaders or something. I don't know what it is, but I'll make it. That's how I'm making it up. I to will you. say this. No, <laughs> no, it's fine. Meeting your boyfriend without you. <laughs> no. I, I mean, feel bad the whole time. No, because even that like, night when you were texting me, you were like, I bet. Like, all of a sudden, out of nowhere, you sent me a picture at, at his concert, and I was like, <gasps> what? And I'm sitting there, like, <laughs> working on your business. I'm sitting there, like, like about to launch yeah. the business and working yeah. on the website. And, and it's like, what are you doing, bitch? And I'm like, oh yeah. my God, this is so sad. Like, this is my life. This is I was my like, life. it's okay. And you kind of mentioned, like, yeah, I might meet him. And I was like, you bitch. You bitch. And then you were like, no, 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 I'm kidding. They're mine. And then the next day. Well, because I wasn't, we weren't supposed to. Like, oh. you know, sometimes with people like that, you know, it's like, I don't like to push stuff like that. Like yeah, I'm not, if I bought the tickets. Like I'm not looking for free tickets. Like yeah. we bought our way in. If if you, if we're getting backstage, cool, but we're not like on a list at the very least, we want to support him. Yeah. And we have supported him every time. Even when Xander's like, I got you just come to the back door. I'm like, we're buying tickets. Mm-hmm. If we happen to be able to go the back door, or whatever, fine. At least post knows that we like, not that he knows, but at least we feel like, we support him. We're yeah. not trying to leech off anyone yeah. or like whatever, especially with people like him that we like, we just, I just respect him. I respect how much he like, I mean, he was trying to do shows up until the point where they shut I him know. down. Like he did that. one of the last shows where people are like, Hey bro, you can't Probably, be doing yeah. this. Yeah. But he did it still. And he would have, he would still be because doing it right now. If I they feel didn't. like he knows the fans, you know, he how many people paid money. And he he did it because he loves them and he appreciates them. That's how I just feel like he is. And I hate that's why I hated when they were coming after him because I'm like, if you have ever met uh, someone that parties with people and does a perfectly flawless, awesome show mm-hmm. every fucking night because he respects the audience, yeah. sure he parties after. Believe Who me, wouldn't? like. 24 you're living your dream like you're gonna party Even the concerts after. i've been to where they're partying on stage and drinking on stage i fucking love it do it like do it so it's, he's he's definitely drinking but he's not doing a bunch of drugs he's not missing shows he's not passing out on stage yeah. he's not coming no. on late like he definitely like when it's time for him to come on he's on you're never like where's fucking post yeah. like do you know what i mean yeah so he respects the audience hardcore and i love that and I know you do too. Mm-hmm. And uh, so he just one thing, he lived up to the hype and he was awesome. I have not one bad word to say about him ever. Yeah. One thing that I like about what Ross did is that Ross would be, Ross did what I would do. Like, which is beat him. Don't care who you are. I'm not going to let I'm, you win. I'm not going to. Yeah. I'm not going to let you win. And I think Post like, I'm still hopefully trying. respects that, which is why he wants the rematch. Right. Yeah. So he's like, he's not. 
he's like, okay, this person like is playing for real. They're not placating me. They're yeah. not like playing and letting me win or whatever. No. This is a I would real not match. Do that either. I don't exactly. care who you are. I'll let him know. <laughs> no, it's like Ross? Tiffany's pretty good, and she's not going to let you win. Okay. Oh no 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 <laughs> no! Actually, playing against Ross, Ross is probably better than me for sure. You guys should play. But that's funny because Chris was sitting there going like, "Oh, I want to play against Ross," and I'm like, "Dude, I beat you half the time." Like, you know what I mean? Like, hey, I but carry, bring it. But I carry like so when Chris and I will play, it's either one or the other. Like he's either carrying me because I just suck and I'm not drunk enough, or I'm overthinking it, or over drunk. There's like that one yep. more, yeah. Um, or I'm like have that amazing buzz and I'm just getting all of them. them and he's just you know hitting the rim and he's like fuck and I'm like it's okay I got you so it's either one or the other right. it's either one of us sucks and one of us is on but Which is at least a perfect metaphor that's for a good, marriage <laughs> that's it's so true <laughs> that's how it <laughs> find out how works your, found out how your marriage is pay, play doubles in beer pong yeah see how you guys really fucking work together yeah well him and I we typically like to play together not really um against you, each other Right, That'd you know what I mean. Bad. Yeah, there's been a few times where him and I will play cornhole because we just will play it at home, sure. and it's just us two. And I'm, I'm kind of like I'm over it. Like yeah. I don't want to, I don't want to fight tonight. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> let's um, <laughs> let's not have a friendly game because it's going to turn out. Yeah, because we both are just very competitive. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I hear you. Things. So explain to me then how was post in person? You said he was like super tall. He's tall. It's something that you probably don't know. So he's taller than Ross, and he's like he's Which is, not to me. Fat. It's crazy because Ross is tall. Yeah. So Ross is tall. He's maybe like an inch taller, inch or two taller than Ross. So it's like it almost looks like they're the same, but he's like a he's just like a bigger presence. He's not fat. Like he's lost a lot of weight yeah. and stuff. So he's just like he's just big, and he's just like his skin looks so soft and person. You know, like when you're looking at HD and you're like, oh my god, this is so clear. But when you're looking at Post Malone, you're like, oh, he's not on the TV. Like, this is real. Yeah. He's right in front of you. He's just like, he's a very, he's a big presence. When he walks in the room, no matter, not the tattoos or anything, he's just like a, you know he's there. Yeah. Right? Um, Was he just like goofing around the whole time with his buddies? Is he goofy yeah. or is so he? So in this respect, he was in Austin, which is where he's from. He's from Texas. So it was all his high school buddies. Yeah. And it's a t- it was a totally different vibe than normal behind, sure. you know, backstage stuff. Because it was just like. So he had his friends there. He had all his friends from high school. I'm sure and he was like a lot more his, comfortable. Yeah. And so it was just a really cute scene because you're like, they were so excited because they got to like yeah. go backstage with his buddy who's Post Malone now. And then Post Malone was excited because he had his friends yeah. that that he's known for a really long time there and they were joking around just like old school high school like one guy was wearing a fedora and it just looked really weird on him and yeah. post just kept fucking going after him his but buddy in like yeah but in like a friendly like hey man where'd you get that fedora i really <laughs> want one of those you think i can get one of you know just like how friends okay, fuck around that. with yeah, each yeah, other yeah. and then they all the other friends were laughing and it was like you could tell that that was the guy that like you know tried different styles and they all fucking made fun of him yep. always and like you just saw the dynamic and you saw him as like someone that keeps like a real his friends person. around and like isn't like no fuck that like yeah. i'd rather have hot bitches back here which uh, he didn't he yeah. had his girlfriend and her friend literally was it and there i the go. only reason i was there is because i was with ross yeah. i wasn't like some chick that no, was trying he doesn't like chick i've heard that he's gotten mad at his security if they like bring a bunch of thirsty bitches back there or drugs or anything so he'll definitely like yeah because he has a girlfriend usually has a girlfriend and so he doesn't want that he doesn't want people back there just fucking drugging and being stupid like he wants someone he wants everyone to be connected in some way to each other yeah know that we're just drinking and we're having like a good time and if you get otherwise there would have been fucking fights oh my god all in the morning beer pong well i can only imagine the drama the yeah. rumors, yeah. the so, scandals, everything. He's, he's definitely he's like being smart as well. Yeah. And mature. But he locks up everybody's phone in these yonders when you walk in. So he knows that no one's taking a video of him or, you know what I mean, trying to post anything. Mm-hmm. So he's able to let loose. And yeah. he drinks. Good for him. He was drunk. It was fun. And because um, even was the cool. other. So that was. Even the other day. So I like obviously um, follow his TikTok and him on everything but he'll post like more of his funny videos yeah. on tiktok and he was playing beer pong and he put like one of the red solo cups on his head and had the cigarette in his hand and was like trying to balance it and, silly there, goose. and there goes the cup the cup like falls off of his head and he like jumps away laughing and i'm yeah. like and to me i was thinking to myself i wonder if this is like the side like what jesse saw yeah he's a silly <laughs> like, goose that's cool he's a silly goose and he's a kid you look at him and you're like, I mean, he's, he's still young. He's fucking 24. When you think about it, he's 24. 
So I'm sure he was forced to grow up in some ways because of all this. In some ways, but in and some ways. And that's why it makes me happy that he's able to have fun and be himself without worrying about people taking pictures or exploiting him or yeah and then Whatever. still being professional so yeah. he made it to the net you know he stayed up till three or four playing beer pong getting wasted to the point where he's like almost puking and he went to colorado the next day played a fucking show yeah. killed it you know what i mean so he's he's having fun he's doing all those things i mean he's he does need to take a break i will say sure at some point That's good i'm sure this i'm sure this whole virus thing is a nice break so now he has a break he's yeah. not like drinking and you know till four in the morning and trying to like get some kind of rest on the bus before he has to do a badass show yeah. again which he always does and gives it all so he's good um he's awesome he's everything of the sort he's everything that you wanted him That's to be all, Tiffany. that makes me happy just so you know so when you meet him you can know that you'll be like hey and he'll be like hey how yeah. are you and he's like really sweet so that's awesome good to know oh, my heart is so happy i right now. know your boyfriend <laughs> um, oh my god no i will tell you this though is um i told chris really quick i said hey jesse said i was just reading the text messages right i was like jesse said he's, she's at the concert dude she said she was gonna like show pictures of him or me or something like you know and chris went wait what <laughs> joking obviously right joking. well that's the thing i was like and then later on he was like, wait, are you going to try to meet him? Like, are, is him and Ross? And then I, was, I have everyone that Chris is worried yes. about. He's worried about Post Malone. I'm like, I'm not even his type. He has a girlfriend. I'm married to you. Dude. Like, like, I'm married to you. I think Ross has a bigger crush than you do. Do you know what I'm saying? It's like, yeah, it's just, it's just a, I'm like, I just like him as a person. Like, come on, funny, dude. Chris. But it was just funny, though, because Chris was like, wait, did she show him pictures of you? Uh, are you going to go meet him now? And I'm How like, funny. oh, yeah, because I guarantee he's going to be like, oh, yeah, like, this Tiffany girl. Like, I'm not even his type. You already told Look, me his type. You're, you're, and you're I'm everyone's married. type, but <laughs> but Post Malone's. I'm so sorry. The one guy that you want. You're the oh no, only, I don't want him. I just love I'm just him. saying, like yeah. the only he ha, he definitely has a type, and, and it, it's not it's not either me. one of us. Nope. It's I'll not, leave it at yeah. that. <laughs> <laughs> I'll leave it at that. I just thought it was funny though. Yeah. Um. So we're we're gonna get into sponsors, and then after that, we're gonna do yeah. just kind of questions and and each one of those can bring up any any type of conversation we're just gonna get weird and and random yep. on this one how about that i like it andy cohen style mm-hmm. i fucking love him so do i we're gonna be in the bar we someday. gotta be on that bar we're manifesting listen he has his personal trainer on there all the time and like all these randos so i think to myself why not us we love Hello. like we are big bravo fans we love all the housewife i mean literally if he has them on he asks us any question we can answer Dude, it. right there immediately named my so first St- born after and I'm jack from st louis yeah like that's the in oh, dude. ticket by right? the way that is the in if anyone if if we're gonna have any in it's your connection with st louis by the way yeah. just saying yeah um, all right, first up, we have ghostbed.com forward slash drinking bros. Yes, it's drinking bros. Makes it easier for everyone. Just go to that landing page, and then those are gonna. that's where all the deals are going to be that we're getting on our network. So right now, they're doing 20% off a mattress plus two free pillows. This is huge, right? That's awesome. Did you get your pillows? Which ones did you get? The cooling no. ones? Okay. So here's the thing is they have one that is like a hotel style one okay that is like the fluffy oh, still oh, and cooling not the like got it got it got it not the foam as much mm-hmm. because i've used memory foam and i don't know how these I ones are do. different i promise but you, you know like but yeah you know like when you go to a really plush hotel and they have the best pillows in the world oh yeah they they had that description i was like i want one of those and i was like i might get the cooling one for chris and yeah. get me this one for me and if i don't yeah. like it i'll switch on <laughs> There you go. You know what I mean? I'm telling you, though. No, I hear you with the foam because I definitely have tried those ones that like have the dip. Yeah, the dip in them. It's not like that. It's not. Okay. It's amazing. And it's a good way to like dip your toe into if you would like the actual ghost bed, which you will. Yeah. Um, My brother just got his and he's fucking stoked. Is he? Yeah. And um, <clears throat> I gave him my drinking my drinking bros landing page to be like hey, hey. Dude, i got you because like, that is the best deal literally the best deal that yeah. i can give him um and they're also giving you 50 percent off an adjustable base if you buy a mattress that's fucking huge mm-hmm. so i'm guessing and then on top of that you can do a 36 month pay as you go you could be comfy cozy reclined up in your bed pillows mattresses sheets and everything for 
pennies on the dollar. I know. Well, 60, 70 bucks, but whatever. <laughs> you know, all of it's that really to be like for an amazing bed. Yeah, to when start about with it. one month and have it come and it comes super quick in like two days. COVID free, COVID-19 free. Well, they make the guarantees. Yeah. I don't even like shopping in stores anymore. In all honesty, I don't like. So this is perfect. Constantly asking me questions and ber- like berating me. Oh, what do you no, want to buy? Know. This is not. And if you do have questions, Ghostbed has a little pop up screen that says, hey, do you have any questions for us? And you can really type in and night. say, yeah. yeah. <laughs> and you're like, oh, thanks, friend. And if thanks, you don't want to talk to me more, you just exit the fuck out of it. Yeah. So that's our page, guys. It's going to have everything that you need. Ghostbed.com forward slash drinking bros. Next up, we have strikeforceenergy.com. Mm. Promo code lady boner. <laughs> I love for that. For 20% off everything in the store. We're going to need some. We're going to do some more shows today. I think I'm yes. going to need a packet. Oh, I'm going to need some. I'm going to need put, a packet. You know what actually I might put it with is um, some claws or some truly. Oh, yeah. We're definitely, I think, show two. We should definitely start yeah. drinking. Times like these. Listen, we should be drinking all we, day. To if be you're honest. if you're quarantined currently, this is you have airport rules, airport and Walmart rules. You airport rules, you can drink any time of the day. Doesn't matter. So true, huh? right? Any time of the day, no judgment oh, zone at an everyone's airport. Everyone's drinking with you, and you can and you, guess that. Guess what? You're in the comfort of your own home. You'd be fucking butt naked, ba- I, buck naked, buck naked, a boot nuked, a boot nuked, <laughs> buck nuked, a boot nuked. You can. I mean, you can wear whatever the fuck you want. Yep. No judgment. So, so you should be putting a little strike force in there and getting yes. loose, getting naked, getting loose. Listen, um, if you yeah. don't know what strike force is, it's this little packet, liquid energy, no carbs, no sugars, no gluten. You put it in anything that you are feeling, water, claw, truly, vodka, soda, whatever you want. Yes. And it will give you nonstop awesome energy. If you can handle a pack, a whole packet. Some people do drink a ton of for caffeine you. a day. Yeah. We can only handle a half, so it does have a lot of energy. Go to get uh, put in promo code Lady Boner though, so that the guys know that you like our show better than theirs. Mm-hmm. Strikeforceenergy.com promo code Lady Boner. Next up, to go with all of that, Dude. we have a real life awesome sponsor as well, LiquidIV.com. If you don't know about this company, I don't know where you've been because <laughs> they're pretty much everywhere, they're right? Amazing. Yeah. They're amazing and they're everywhere and they're awesome. The maybe we have a crush on the on the CEO. I, I don't know. Maybe a He's little bit. He's pretty fucking rad. He's pretty awesome. Basically awesome. The product's awesome. So this is going to be a packet. I have it right here, actually. I know. I have a bunch of my Is this your purse. flavor? This is my flavor. I love the lemon and I also love this is my the flavor. passion fruit. Yeah. The passion fruit. Oh, yeah. The passion fruit's really good if uh, you like a little sweet, whereas the lemon works just for me for like daily drinking. Yes. Right. So basically, this is a packet, kind of like some Strike Force. You can put some Strike Force and this together if you want. Yeah. Get some energy, get some hydration. So basically, you put this in, I think it's 16, 16 ounces. ounces of water, and it's going to hydrate you two to three times faster than if you're just drinking that bottle of water by itself, which will, right now we yeah. need. I will say initially, when I um, took them, I was, you know, I'm a human, right? And living in a very, like, constant. I didn't know that about you. <laughs> I'm a typical person who okay. just wants constant gratification, know. like yeah. immediate oh, gratification. Yeah. Why am I not super hydrated? And I thought to myself, why am I not hydrated yet? But I will tell you, after a week of it, I noticed a difference. And when I yes. wasn't doing taking those as much, I you absolutely noticed it. a difference. Yeah. And it, it works better, too, with the taste. Yeah. Instead of just drinking plain water. Yeah, it makes your water a little bit more flavorful. And then times like this, too, it has vitamin C and all the B vitamins in it. So Keeping you healthy. Hydrated and vitamin C. I don't know what else I can say right now to make you buy it. I know. Except for that they're also a company that does good. So everything, every time you, every box that you buy, they're going to, they donate a shit ton as well. Yeah. Right? And here's two the thing million too. Ser- so far they've donated like two million servings to any if like affected area that could be California with That's domestic, earthquakes, yeah, or it could be internationally, Haiti. yeah. So they just do good. And um, I know right now too, like the CEO put out a little video of him briefing all of his crew, saying like, "Hey, okay, we're gonna do everything we can in the whole virus situation, and we're gonna be there for our people. We're coming out with, pro- you know, like." They, if anything, it, now is the time that they want these products more and more to yeah, stay yeah. healthy, to remain hydrated because it's very important for your health. So we need to make sure we're there for them, but also I want you guys to remain safe. And I was like, 
respect dude good for them yeah okay so you're gonna go to liquidiv.com you're gonna put in promo codes bro at b-r-o-e-t-t-e-s for 25 percent off at checkout that means whatever you buy you're getting 25 percent off liquidiv.com promo code bro at b-r-o-e-t-t-e-s get 25 percent off get energy with strike force get hydrated with liquid iv get your fucking ghost bed i mean dude do I have you fucking set up or we, what, dude? We had uh, a couple listeners sit there and go, <laughs> so when I drink my one coffee in the morning, yep. right? I sh- they don't like drinking coffee the rest of the day. So mm-hmm. to stay, you know, upbeat and energetic after especially the lunch slump, they take Strike Force. And yep. she's like, and on top of that, I'm taking liquid IV to stay hydrated yep. in the day. So I'm energetic and I'm hydrated. And of course, by the time the Strike Force wears off, I'm tired. Boom, I go to sleep in my ghost bed. She goes, did you guys plan this? And I was like, no, we didn't. Kind not. of. I was like, we kind of really did it. It just happened to work it out. It just that happened way. to work out. And she goes, look at that. I was like, this is awesome. That is amazing. All right. Oh, what are we doing? Let's get into our rando, our rando show. Get into questions. So we are going to be asking each other questions. And listen, answer along with us, guys. Yeah. Scream at us through the radio, through your phone, whatever you guys want. <laughs> answer and see, and see what you guys get compared to us. So this is a question that Andy Cohen asks um, a lot of his uh, listeners or his guests, I should say. So if you had to pick one to go without for the rest of your life, okay, what would it be? Cheese or oral sex? Oral sex. Oral sex. Me too. I cannot go without cheese. I mean, yeah. More and you more. You said ch- you would go out with. You said you would go without oral sex for the rest of your life. Is that what you just said? I did just say it. Okay, but I kind of said it too fast. <laughs> to where if to where if uh, Ross is listening, he's gonna be no. like, "Wait, what the fuck?" No, I just when I'm thinking about it, I'm like, I'm trying to be a little bit less. I'm trying to do a little bit less dairy anyway. So so here's the thing. Is something I should do? Realistically, for my health, I know my body doesn't do great with cheese. I get Nobody super does. constipated. Nobody <laughs> like, does. I fucking break out. The bodies are not made for cheese in that way. But yeah. Um, but it doesn't mean it's not damn good. I fucking love cheese. It's so good. And honestly, eating healthy, I put... I know. Like, for example, even my lunch that I have right now, I sprinkle some Parmesan on top. Right? And yeah. just... I, I don't know. Like, don't get me wrong, I love oral sex, but it's I definitely don't need it as much as I need cheese. Because <laughs> I think there's other things that you can do. <laughs> like, you know, oh, my God. Like, plenty of other at, things like, you can do. It's not like no Listen, sex. there's sex toys now that have, like, a fucking tongue on it that flaps back Would and forth. Would that count, though? No. Like, I think no. we're getting too complicated oral, with no. these. I think we oral just sex answer. is yeah. by the person. So I'm just saying. Okay. Yeah. All right. When, so, I, when I evaluate my life and I sit there... I go, what do I actually need more? What have I used more? What have I gotten more All of? right, cheese. Cheese. Okay. <laughs> answer. If you had to pick a particular Final cheese, answer. though. Final answer. Oh. Do you, do you like certain cheeses? Parmesan's like my thing right now. Yeah. A hard, I'll do a hard cheese. A hard, a hard cheddar? Mm, you yeah. Like, you like a your cheese hard. A super aged cheddar. <laughs> Are you okay? You like <laughs> old, hard, old, hard cheese? cheese. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yep. okay. Yep. Oh, okay. I take it older and I take it harder. I like yep. <laughs> I like Parmesan because I feel like it can go on anything, and it also has the best macro nutrients in it. There you go for you. Less amount of. Do you know what macronutrients are? I mean, your macros are your carbs, fats, and proteins. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. So it has. So cheese is just chock full of fat, which is sometimes, of course. One gram of fat is nine calories, which yeah. is more than obviously your carbs and your proteins. So they say to limit your fats, right? Which is what some people do. Yeah. So with, hey, we're getting all nerdy on you guys here for a second. But Parmesan has the least amount of fats, but it has more protein in it. So it's actually kind of better for you. Yeah. Technically, if you want to get into that. So that's the only reason why. Okay. That's the only <laughs> reason why you're picking it. I'm sure. And Italian. My Italian background. Oh, yeah, my, my, of course. Yeah, obviously. The douche and the gagoosh. The douche and the, yeah. Okay. If you, oh, I already know my answer to this one. If you can only eat one food for the rest of your life, what would it be? One food for the rest of my life, what would it be? I can tell you what mine is. If you want to think about yours. Because I know this. I have three favorite foods. Just about. You go. I have donuts. Oh. 
Okay. My favorite food. Right. Bacon. Okay. And pizza. And if I could only eat one for the rest of my life, I would only eat pizza for the rest of my life. And let me explain. You'd only eat pizza? Oh, because you can do a bunch of different Dude, things with it. That's kind of cheating. Ha- no. Because then you can like put a bunch of different, you could make like a hamburger pizza and then you're getting your hamburger I know, but if you fix. chose to eat cheese for the rest of your life, you have all the different cheeses, right? If you chose to eat bacon for the rest of your life, you have like all the different types of bacon. Yeah, I guess. Right? So yeah. to me, like pizza, I would just choose pizza for the rest of my life. You have the gluten crust. You have the cauliflower crust. You have the dessert pizzas. You have the breakfast pizzas. You have the all-day pizzas. You can put anything on top of it. Yeah. I mean, it, it might be cheating. Little, I don't it know. It does really seem a little bit like cheating, but, but I've, I've I learned how to eat, scan, the, scan the system. If I could eat one thing for the rest of my life, it would be an everything bagel with cream cheese, bacon, and tomato. Oh, my God. Really? That's too much stuff, right? But no. that would be it. Breakfast, lunch, and dinner. I would never get tired of it. You never. Nope. That or a bologna sandwich and white bread with mayonnaise. <laughs> You're such a white person. I know. <laughs> anytime that I'm like craving something like or missing home or like. Or anytime, bologna? I haven't eaten bologna, bologna since I was in middle bologna, school. Bologna, best foods or craft. I like best foods mayonnaise a little bit more with a white wonder bread. Yeah. Like soft or kind of toasted? Soft, not toasted. Okay. As what As type of cheese? Like the single slice? No cheese? cheese. Oh. Mayonnaise, bologna, white bread. Oh my gosh. Forever. You have a palate of a five year old. <laughs> Absolutely. Or a craft mac and cheese. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> Look, I cannot decide between all of these gourmet foods. You have to pick one. I feel like. I'll go everything bagel th- with cream cheese. I feel like that's your safest bet because you add it things to it and I feel like you could take stuff off of it. It could right? be like, yeah. So it could be kind of like the pizza thing where you're like, I agree. I pick bagels. And then you can be like, sure. Bread, bagel. Egg and cheese bagel. No, you're bagel. right. Okay. I can, okay. I can do that. So you just eat bagel, bagels. Bagel. The rest of your life. And what like, we learned from this is that we're both cheaters. <laughs> we're both. Carry on. And we both love bread. <laughs> we both love bread and a soft cheese. And a soft cheese. Oh my God. But tell me, it's like, I feel like that's everyone, right? That has If to you be. literally can pick anything to eat for the rest of your life, so it's somehow going to incorporate bread and fucking cheese. Yeah. Right? Yeah. We're Which not the like, funny thing we're is, not though, reinventing the wheel over here. Is if we do get stuck in this, if we get stuck in quarantine, or let's say if you're, know, you're down in I a have, bunker yeah. for years, bread and cheese are the only things that, like, will, like, those are the things that will not last. Those will not last. So... So that sucks. Maybe Except so maybe for like that's a parmesan, why. by the way. A parmesan will get better Ooh. in a bunker. See, maybe that's we'll why just I picked get it. better. Maybe that is why you picked it. It's not, but you I just, know. You, you are I was adding to go it. with it. Yeah. <laughs> I was going to be like, that's You're why making she me sound it. smarter. She's so smart. I'm so smart because it's age. She just really thinks that. And it doesn't ahead. need like a fridge. Yep. And uh, yeah, it works for like the end of times. It's great. Perfect. I love how these are all food so far. Are they? <laughs> yep. Um, if you could only pick one, which would you pick? C- cake or pie? Pie. Really? All day long. Do I get any kind of whipped cream, though, with it? No. Still or pie. Or ice cream. No, Still ice cream pie. work. Really? Oh, yeah, that crust. Oh, my God. Okay, I do love the crust, but, like, okay, what type of pie, though? I mean, I would have to what's, go what's with, like, What's your favorite a, pie, type of pie? I mean, I have to go with, like, an old-school gross cherry, where it's, like, that very, like, gelatinous oh. cherry filling i'm learning with like the so little much piece about of, you right now oh yeah, yeah i'm white trash but i'm actually white trash yeah and that I like did, i didn't say that was white trash i'm just saying no no it really is and i would I, pick i would pick cake the joke is with me because i want to have like a cooking show right oh I, like, yeah, travel. yeah but the joke of that is that i don't like anything weird so all i would the joke you just like ross, the basics ross is always like oh what are you gonna go on a noodles and butter tour of fucking <laughs> like i won't eat no sushi nothing weird you nothing, do not eat sushi i know I think oh. I've said it on this show where I think sushi is a prank that the world is playing on me. No way. Mm-hmm. No, you have When not. someone says I cr- I'm craving sushi, I go, I don't even understand how that's possible. I crave sushi. Like the raw fish on the rice? Oh, no, no. Okay. <laughs> what do you like? What kind of sushi? I like the you- American sushi. Oh, the like cooked stuff. It's not really that cooked, but I'll do... Um, like yeah, where it's like some a, spicy tuna cream cheese yeah, roll, right? Yeah, where you yeah. have okay. the cucumbers in it, so some type of spicy like, tuna or spicy salmon, cream cheese, avocado, wrapped in rice. 
okay. Like I get all the different it's not flavors. With, but don't get yeah, me wrong. Yeah. I will absolutely do the deep fried ones or the ones with like srirachas sure. and eel sauce and all the other bullshit. When somebody says that they're craving like a sashimi. So like oh, that no, like no. thing, the like fish on top of the little rice cake and you like just eat it. Or uma, uh, una, what is it? The like, I don't know. The urchin you eat the, I don't what even is know. That? Uni? Uni, maybe it is. So if you're like eating just the raw urchin no. out of the fucking thing, when people are like, oh my God, it's so good. I'm like, you're fucking joking me. Like, this is a prank. There's no way that you fucking like that. Yeah. To me, that's a little bit. But I'll say this. So my palate is very white trash. If you do want a guy who will, you know, eat you out downtown 24-7 and loves oral sex, then maybe take him to sushi and see how much he really likes raw fish. Oh. Slurping that up. And there you go. You found your man. Right? Um, <laughs> okay. Um, Get it? Get it? Because... If he's willing to put raw fish in his mm-hmm, mouth all the mm-hmm, time mm-hmm. and the taste and the texture and maybe like some of the smell and everything and he's so obsessed with it, he might be obsessed with eating your, you know, pussycat out all the time. So my palate is white trash, whereas your <laughs> mind is white trash. Is white trash. <laughs> younger gentleman. <laughs> A younger white trash gentleman is living inside your brain right now. <laughs> Maybe. I don't know. That's okay, why, moving that's on to the That's what I thought in my head, though, right? By the way, let's just not brush over mine. Mine's cake. Really? Cake, 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 So cake, what kind cake, of cake, frosting? Cake. Do you like a thicker frosting or a very light? No, I like thick. Give me all the frosting. Oh my gosh, like a, really? Mm-hmm. But like a thick, dense one? Where no, it's not just dense, like, fluffy. Oh, okay, fluffy. Yeah. I like fluff. But a lot of it. Yeah. Yeah. And I can get, but don't get me wrong. I can get down on like a. If I could pick too, like a particular type of cake, I would pick um, a Dairy Queen ice cream cake, probably. Ice cream cake. Have you not had it? No, but isn't that ice cream? I know, but it still has cake in it. And isn't it somewhat Again, you're cake cheating. still? <laughs> you're cheating. I'm saying I, I ha- can't get ice no, cream I'm with saying- my pie, but you can have an ice cream cake. Well, they have ice cream cake. Do they have ice cream pies? True. Bitch, no fair (laughs) but the problem is i don't think i would be able to pick a certain type of cake right so maybe i'll just pick if i had to pick one maybe like i don't know marble cheesecake would be a good um a good in-between hack because it's got the like pie crust honestly it would like a and there and at cheesecake factory because i'm just gonna throw out my knowledge with it um, your the experience? T- yeah, the tuxedo. Years of experience. My years it, yeah. of experience working mm-hmm. there. The tuxedo chocolate cheesecake has actually cake layers in it. This is hard hitting stuff, you guys. Boom. This Turn is really, off the news. Yeah. Turn listen. us on. Okay. This is a shit that you need to know for survival. Because if you're ever to rob a fucking cheesecake a, factory, a cheesecake factory, or you a have store to know and which you have moments to decide. Cheesecake, the fucking you need to know what you want right then. <laughs> and this is good. So take this, take, take this. this inventory, guys. Yeah. And if you want to sell the cheesecake, okay, mm-hmm. um, for resale, right, and get your money's worth, get the Godiva cheesecake, steal all the frozen Godiva cheesecakes, because those are $8 a slice, and wow. you can sell those for maybe like $20 a slice instead. Wow. Wow. Right? Wow. Because listen, we have all these fucking douchebags out right now stealing everyone's shit. Right? It's like mayhem. Toilet paper. It's chaos. Hand sanitizer and then selling it for like five times the price. So might as well fucking do that with food too. Fuck those dudes. Yeah. Fuck them. Apparently one of them's an Air Force vet. Are you serious? And I like am immediately embarrassed for even him remotely being in the same branch, let alone mil- like him even being in the military. We won't even like shout that out at all because. Well, I, I want to know his name so I can fucking blast it among the airways and tell everyone to go like, hey, listen, if shit hits the fan. And you need to steal someone's shit or kill someone and eat them. This guy. <laughs> this guy. <laughs> Cannibalism. Was that too far? <laughs> yeah, was that too far? I don't know. I'm gonna go. I did, again, we we recorded pre-recorded, pre-recorded, so we don't know so what don't know the world is on. like Sorry, right yeah. now. There could be some cannibalism going True. on. There could be. <laughs> um, okay. Would you rather be alone for the rest of your life, or be surrounded by annoying people for the rest of your life? I'm dealing with this right now. <laughs> Thinking about this, yeah. How you know how are you doing with this? Um, thinking about being in a oh, in a, in a really tight knit okay. community with a bunch of people, yeah, or moving out to the fucking country mm. and like being by myself with my family and kids and like having land and stuff. Like, 
I am in this dilemma right now. I don't know what the answer is. Are you guys I, talking I about need, this? Yeah. I mean, it's just been like, an ongoing. Soxie, like, even like, when we I, moved to this neighborhood, it was an ongoing sure. dilemma, right? Well, I can like, tell you, I know what Chris wants. To be out in the middle of nowhere. Yeah. Yeah. But this is just even so as saying, yeah, would you rather? Let's. Would you personally rather be a left alone, no family or anything for the rest of your life? I think. I don't know. Right? Jeez, no, be alone God. for the rest of your life no, or be surrounded I by annoying people. Die. I would die if I was alone for any amount of time. Really? Mm-hmm. So you're the type of person who always needs people around? Yes. Oh. Annoying or otherwise. So if that was it, I thought it was like. I don't know. Would you rather just like not have any friends or whatever be alone? So I guess. If it's no family, nothing, then no, I would never choose that. Like, I could never be, I have a really hard time being alone. It seems like the question is that when he, when he asked me. people, it was either like, you are alone, alone, alone. Like, there's no one there Or there's with you. annoying people around you or forever. Or only annoying people. Like, you don't get to choose family. It's just annoying fucking people. So, annoying people, I guess I'll choose. Wow. Don't you think a lot of people are annoying anyways? I mean, isn't that kind of what we deal with all the time? True. But these are like handpicked the most annoying people. Gosh, like what would that be? Like, for example, I honestly probably rather be alone. You could do that probably than be with like super annoying people, not like even family or loved ones, but just like, you know what I mean? Like, mm-hmm. J- Jessica and her voice the entire time. Like, can you imagine right. being right. stuck with like 15 fucking Jessicas, time, like, but worse and just uh, or like annoying? Al Roker's, right? Do you think he's annoying? I think he's the most <laughs> annoying person that has ever lived, and he needs to just like go away. This quarantine, do you? I think he should just quarantine. St- he's quarantining, and I think that should just be. We should just lock the door. The- <laughs> lock the door. Cut off the contract. He's fucking done. Really, Roker. Good for you. Like I, you did really great uh-huh. for the amount of time that you did. <laughs> Congrats. We're done with you. Stuff like that. Uh-huh. People like that, and the Jessicas. And the, I mean, there's so many different types, right? That's what I'm saying. Of annoying people. And so people. they just pick them all. Now, if we did do it this way, where it was like, you are living out, like, alone in yes, a rural environment, right? Versus a more, like, suburban. Oh, my God. I Yeah. I'd rather live kind of out in country, bumpkin area. For sure. Like, with tons of acres around me. I just have to never travel thought, I never thought I would think that. Really? Because, yeah, I'm from Los Angeles. I'm like, oh, I'm going to live in New York or but I'm going to yeah. be in L.A. Like, I need to be around a city. I can't uh, be in the quiet. Like, so I never thought that I would even be contemplating, like, being in, like, a country. You know? I think when you just get older, you start to. You start to be like, people are fucking annoying. Yeah. Well, and but when you look really at these, like. I don't be around them that much. Mature up, you know, these, like, cities and, um metropolitan like areas yeah you start realizing that when terrible situations hit them too that's like the last place you want to be you just want to be out by yourself taking care of your fucking business like Mm -hmm. not hearing all the nonsense not seeing all the fucking bullshit yeah let's think of all the end of the world movies here for a second too right like world war z or fucking what's the one with tom cruise and the fucking aliens that come down to the city you know with dakota fanning you know what I'm talking about? Which one is this? He was in another one too, where like Alex, these alien you know this things come down. It's like the Tom end Cruise of end of days or Dakota something. Like this. Yeah, something. I don't know what it is. I'll have to look it up. But um, like with all these things, when you look at the mass hysteria, even with like World War Z and the zombie mm. shit, guess where all the shit happens in the Brad fucking Pitt. city, dude. Yeah. Oh, what? Yeah. <laughs> Surrounded With by Brad, Brad Pitt. Pitt. Yeah. No, um, but no, in, the, in city. the city. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But like, yeah. you see what I'm saying? Yeah. No, people get. War, War of the that's world. That's what it is. Yes. War of the world. Like, all this shit, right? Mm-hmm. Or even the one that Rock was in when what, the fucking earthquakes are happening. What? San Andreas. San Andreas. And okay. what's the other one where everything freezes over, right? Everyone's stuck. Independence in the- Day. Could be that one too. Oh, okay. But you see what I'm saying? Everything's stuck in one. the cities. And everyone mm-hmm. gets stuck there and they fall through the fucking cracks, so they all get killed or they all yeah. get bitten by zombies. Guess where everyone up, ends up going who lives from there and survives that? They go out to the fucking country. They have their guns. In the middle of nowhere. They have their fucking. And they find maybe someone who's been out there who's still living away yep. from all the madness. Nothing's yep. hit them yet. They can be prepared. Yep. If you really want to, you know, if you're thinking about it. It's f- good future planning right there. Hey, look, I just have to like get some some rations, which you know Ross Ross can do. Ross, he can go out and shop for 
all the rations. All of them. If anybody needs any stuff, we have uh, 13 cases of water out there. 20 cases of White Claw. That's the only thing we needed. I love how got all this when you showed stuff, me so the video of all the shit that he got. And you were taking videos of it, which, by the way, like some of it is just so random. It's so random. He got a he got a huge box of chapstick. Yeah, because he's gonna like, fucking die if he doesn't yeah, have his lips. <laughs> I was just like, what the fuck? He's like, listen, I talk every day on the podcast. My lips have to be ch- <gasps> not chapped. It is like that. Too. They have to be moisturized. Alec knows because he's been <laughs> sitting in on the shows. Um, <laughs> but yeah, there was that. There was like. Um, you guys even got like 10 different toothpaste I don't, or ten, ten, like, a bunch of toothpaste which okay no, and then bad. just like a bunch of red solo cups where oh yeah 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 like in a, a crisis right it's like but I mean a shit time. and cutlery cutlery like as if you won't be able to wash your dishes I just don't understand what I don't know what crisis he's in <laughs> yeah, that was funny He's in. He's in a crisis. And then, that's like and then it was ten white claw, million steps white ahead. White claw. White claw. Like yeah. Stacked upon stacked, and then Truly. like multiple handles of alcohol. And I'm like huge handles of vodka. Which, by the way, I saw this funny video the other day, and it showed them closing down like a liquor store, and yeah. the news was reporting right in front of it. And the lady looks behind her, and she goes, "What the fuck, you guys closing this shit down?" <laughs> and they were like, "Yeah, we're closing it down early." And she goes, "Listen, if the end of the world comes, I don't want to be fucking sober." Yeah. And she exactly. Walk, <laughs> and she goes to walk in there and just grabs alcohol. And I'm like, I feel you. Dude, people are going crazy. I know. It's so stupid. We were day drinking <laughs> yesterday. I, I was. You never do I, that. Yeah, I know. Listen, I told you, airport. Look, it's airport time right airport now. airport rules. All right, we got a couple more. Um, would you rather be on Ellen DeGeneres' show or Jerry Springer? <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> Ellen only because she's going to give me a check for something. She always Is gives she? you a check. Yeah. I mean, if you're not famous and you're on her show, I mean, she's giving you sh- th- from Shutterfly. I was kind of surprised because I, <laughs> I don't Shutterfly. know where Shutterfly is getting all this fucking money, but they are <laughs> loaded. Shutterfly. Um, right. All the the moms, maybe who have like their um, maybe. But like, that much. All the ladies who have like their Lulu, Lulu, LuLaRue oh, legging okay. company or like yeah. the Sensi company. Maybe they're it's using on Shutter- Shutterfly. Maybe oh, they're using Shutterfly maybe. stuff. Maybe. Rodan Stock and images. Fields, Shutterfly. I don't know. Maybe. Before and after Shutterfly. Shutterfly. Yeah. Okay. Who knows? Um, but I, what about you're not concerned about Ellen at all? Oh yeah, no. I think she might be the devil, from what I hear. What did you hear? Give I me give her us inside scoop. I just hear she's a fucking nightmare. Really? And like, yeah, like to work with, to work with people that she works with, people on the show. Like, if you're not like as excited as she thinks you should be, like she's oh, a she'll fucking make bitch. You. Yeah, I heard she's like a bitch. But the way that she like covers it up is she like gives people money money it's like hiding in plain sight like i'm the nicest person in the world i heard she's so if you're not coming out dancing your fucking face off or if you're like if she gives you the check and you're not like oh my god like then she's like "Mm." Mm -hmm. and like i don't know from what i hear from I want, what I do, hear. they do auditions. I do have a friend that used to do her hair too, and she's a little bit difficult. And by the way, what are you even doing? It's like there's <laughs> nothing there. Ask, oh, like, you're doing the hair. It's I was not gonna say, like, what do you even do like for her hair? Fucking, it's not like a round brush. Or it's anything. not like she's doing a fucking blowout daily. I'm like, why are you going to the studio every fucking day to do her hair? That's insane. It's just like a Jake, the crew put crew yeah. product on the front. Anyway. Oh, I had no so idea. I she's a bit difficult, especially if she's fly- like flying this girl around to do her fucking her. Yeah. Her little spiky <laughs> deal on top of her head. Just saying. Do they have tryouts? Diva. For people for like um, audience members? Uh, tryouts. No, I've been to her show before. It's just like any other show. I would show feel like they would like, almost have tryouts to be like, show us your best dance move. Oh, yeah, yeah. Show us how excited you can be. Let, let's see your enthusiasm or something like that, they right? They definitely do that in private, and then they also secretly are putting you in different places without you knowing. So it's almost like an ugly section and a pretty section, right? That's in restaurants. That's everywhere, by the way. Secretly, what? they're putting you, yeah. Wait, it's in restaurants? What oh, the yeah. fuck do you mean? Mm-hmm. Like higher-end restaurants? They're not putting ugly, ugly people like up at the front. Like they definitely have an ugly section. <laughs> Are you guys watching Larry David? Anyone? Are you watching um, Curb? No, okay. Curb Your Enthusiasm? Watch it. Is that a it thing? It makes a lot of sense. And the other day I went into a restaurant, like a nicer one in Austin, and I was like, God, like. Did you notice? 
Yeah, and then like they when put you f- me in the fucking ugly section. No, I'm joking. No, I was no, saying, no, no, I did not. Through, no, but I was not. like, so in the front. Fuck? So you're saying at the front of a really nice restaurant, like high end restaurant, that's where high they put end all or the, cool if they want it to be like super hip and exclusive. So that's where they put all the like pretty people, like pretty, good looking, hipster, cool, and like, and then they have another section on the side where they put like the uglies. Really? Mm-hmm. Maybe bigger, maybe handicapped. You know, I don't know. But this kind of makes a little bit sense now. So Chris and I were in death, right? Really? I'm going to tell you, we were in Death Valley. Okay. Um, in California. Yeah, yeah. You heard of it? So, and they only have, they have a co- only like a couple hotels there. Yeah. Because it's super fucking hot. Who yeah. would want to stay there? Sure. And so him and I were like hiking and taking pictures and like having a blast. I'm in like shorts and a tank top. And, you know, we're both just not dressed appropriately, but we're starving. Sure. And they have this really nice restaurant attached to this hotel. So we ask, hey, do you guys have open seating? And they're like, yeah. We got sat in the front of it kind of reluctantly because there was no other yeah. seats, right? Yeah. We didn't get served at all. Mm-hmm. For like the 20 minutes we were there, they were like, yeah, we'll come. But they never did. Yeah. And eventually we left. And part of me was wondering if they did that on purpose because we... I mean, we were sweaty. We, we were sweaty. Yeah. Everyone else was dressed really nice. Right. We. I even asked too if there was a dress code, and they're like, no. Mm. And if there was a bar they or can't anything, really, yeah. So, but they didn't serve us for about twenty minutes. Like, they didn't even get us waters, really. Yeah. And then eventually, we were just like, okay, we're just gonna leave. And you're gonna home. notice now. Next time now we go I'm to L.A. Nervous. and we go to any of those restaurants, you're gonna be like, holy fuck, dude. But you may not notice because they're gonna put us in the good-looking section always. But carry on. What's yeah, the next one? Yeah, we look okay. Um, well, I'd rather be on Jerry Springer. You would. Yes. <laughs> Jerry, Jerry, you Jerry. Would. Oh, you would. It would be the funnest shit Who would you ever. go on with? Like your husband, your friend, no, your sister? I would just, like. I don't know. Like I. What would be the thing? The thing is like you go on know. Jerry Springer. I want to go on Jerry Springer. I would just be, I would be like so dramatic. I might be like the catch me outside girl. Like what? Catch oh, me outside. Okay. Yo. Or do, like Dr. Phil style. Or yeah, something. Yeah, 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 just yeah, yeah, yeah. make it over the top. Be funny. Be whatever. There's this guy who's on Instagram called like one something Jude or Jude something yeah yeah and he was on Jerry Springer back in the day and he was so fucking funny like calling out these girls that Jerry had him on as a regular and he his whole career grew and blew up because of being on Jerry Springer yeah I believe Is that, that. but because he was funny yeah 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 and it was entertaining yeah yeah so if you can take it which I would just take it I'd be like what bro like you know you would something. you would do really and especially funny. you could wear those hoops I think Listen, I feel very... I'm down with them. I feel very... Um, they look good. You feel very... I don't know. Like, you know, back in the day when we used to kind of do, like, the more, like, super old school, like, kind of ghetto, yeah, like, yeah, Puerto yeah. Rican-ish look like with the hoops. Li- like a line. And you'd outline your lips mm-hmm. dark, and you put the light in, and yes. that's why I'm kind of feeling right now with my hair half Rocking up. It. I'm loving the vibe, though. This reminds me of, like, a J-Lo thing. It's so perfect. Thank you. With a windbreaker? Oh. <laughs> Guess where this is from? Where? Goodwill. Are you serious? Uh huh. Has pads in the shoulders and everything. Oh my gosh. Right? That's where I was going to go because I want to get the stuff for our Vanderpump thing. Okay. I have the best like video for Goodwill, fucking... too. Perfect. We need to dress each other up one day. <laughs> we need to go to Goodwill. This is, listen, if you guys are looking for something fun to do, so down. If you're looking for something fun to do, oh, plan- if there's ever going to be a coronavirus somewhere, though, it'll be. It'd a be in Goodwill. <laughs> That's true. Maybe this is bad advice. Okay, so but after, carry on. Listen, yeah, after, after the corona this. is over and done. Gra- gather your friends all go out for a night on the town but before you go out you guys all go to goodwill and pick each other's Love outfits it. out and they have to wear them the whole night and you guys go out we used to always do Boom. shit like that me too we have to like make going out like interesting yes me like, and my best okay. friend yeah would do that all the time him and i were both stuck in um louisiana in the bumfuck nowhere and we picked out outfits for our military graduation that we had to wear yeah so literally we were in a course, in a military training course for NCOs. <laughs> Luckily, our instructors were really fucking cool, right? Yeah. Um, when they when we came up to grab our certificates, I had to wear this like shoulder pad one like onesie purple jumper that had like you know the old school buttons yeah, and stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And um, because I got dared to do it, right? Mm-hmm. Um, I was told I wasn't going to. I'm trying to think of the fucking term Manchester. So in the military, they use this term called Manchester, right? Okay. And I was drunk at the bar, and I was like, I'll fucking like, well, get my certificate in that outfit. And they were like, Manchester, which means you have to do you it. You have to do it. Or you get stopped in the fucking face. Oh. Super fucking hard. Jeez. 
So you guys after, are kind of aggressive in that uh, <laughs> military, aren't you? <laughs> in that so, old military. But we do it. Yeah. Well, we do like an art. We call it RT slap. So RT is our resistance interrogation, which is where oh, they would okay, like okay. slap you sometimes. Sure. And so you're you are thin. You have to do certain confines, and you can't go past the shoulder, and you can only have the fingertips hit your cheek and shit like that. Oh, yeah, because you have rules, right? Yeah. No. Um, for assaulting someone, yeah, you have yeah, rules. yeah, no. So I did it, mm-hmm. and after I did that and walked across graduation, and the instructors are like laughing their ass off. I wear it. I put my other clothes back on, and I slap the dude so hard in the face. Beautiful. <laughs> but yeah, that's fine to do that, though. Sure, I'd love to slap people. Yeah, listen, you can save it. <laughs> I really, you would. can save it for a rainy day, or you can save it for a time you're mad at me and be like, "Hey, remember that Manchester? I'm cashing in right now." Oh my god, I've never <laughs> slapped. <laughs> A friend in my You've life. You've never no. slapped anyone? No, I mean, no. I've slapped so many people. Okay. Because of my job. Sure. <laughs> like <laughs> thousands of people. Because it was a resistance interrogation. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, that's right. Sorry. Is, no, you have not, a reason. There's no reason no, for me to. I've not like, slapped friends. If I've slapped anybody. I've slapped a dude in the face one time out downtown um, because he was rude hey. and out of line. And trying to be grabby. And it was kind of like one of the... It wasn't hard, but it was just like... <laughs> Smart. You know? Yeah, yeah. And it, he, he was really taken back. Granted, you can get in trouble for that. Slapping? <laughs> it's assault. Yeah, you know? but like... Granted, what he did was too, though. Is it? So yeah. it's kind of like one of those things where, you know, like, I think he thought the things were funny. And I was like, this is not funny. And sure. it finally got to the point to where after, like, trying to go for my ass and grabbing it, it was like, boom, don't think so. Not funny. Oh, my God. Oh, yeah, I'm yeah. so sorry. Oh, like, I guess. What the fuck? Yeah. So that was like an old school thing. I feel like people don't do that anymore, obviously, because no. no one would handle that well. No, no. <laughs> so, okay. So we'll do one more, and then we'll get to the bro it. Would you rather make it good? Well, we no we. Oh. What you want to do? Can we do two more? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> this this will be quick. Okay. Would you rather be in jail for a year or lose one year off your life? What? <laughs> Radio oh, sorry, sorry. No, you're good. Sorry. I know, right? Um, so, would you rather be in jail? Oh, for, I'd lose one year. one year. I'd lose one year. I don't want to be that old anyway. Or w- lose one year off your life. I could, I could lose five years. <laughs> I don't want to be old. If you could pick a year in the past to lose, is that how it works? No, but I'm asking you right now. Let. I'm asking you right now. If you could pick one year in the past to lose, yeah. Do you have a year? I mean, yeah, I have one in mind. Okay, me too. <laughs> <laughs> I would do the same we'll thing. We'll save that would, for another show. Yeah, I would lose yeah. a year off my life, too. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Because basically, for me, being in jail is losing that year anyway for a year. Yeah, I mean, it'd be interesting, but, like, if you don't want to be fucking old as shit anyways, then lose years. Oh, yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? Like, I know some people will say, like, but you can probably learn so much if you're in jail, and if you're in jail, it's obviously for a reason, but I don't want to be in jail. Not always. True. Some Not people, always for a reason. People, some people are there, you know, and they're yeah. innocent. Yeah, yeah. Okay, last one. Would you rather be... I think I might know your answer on this one. Would you rather always be 10 minutes late or always 20 minutes early? <laughs> How about what I am? <laughs> What's, what are you? 10 minutes late, always. <laughs> Sometimes I'm early, but like today I was early. Then the person that I'm with is late. So then I just sit around waiting for them, which I feel like... There's not many people in my life that are always on time. Yeah. So if I'm late, I'm just there at the same time as them. True. Besides you. But so late. Late. Yeah. In the military, you? we... You're just on time places, we, right? You have to 15 be. minutes early was on time. Yes, exactly. It was like terrible. You know what I mean? And we have this thing where the instructors would tell us to be there 15 minutes early, right? On purpose. So then it's, so, and then our okay. supervisor. So then you're half like the an team hour. team leader would then yeah. be like, well, you're going to get there even more 15 yeah, minutes yeah, early. Yeah, and this yeah, is how yeah. it fucking works in the military. And you're just like, are you kidding? And the it's army. Good, though. In the army, it's even worse, though, because they'll be like, be on the. Like, we have a meeting at 10, and then it'll go up the chain, right? To like yeah. every single person. And they tell you everyone to be there an hour early yeah so all of a sudden these soldiers are there at four fucking a.m sitting there doing nothing for a 10 o'clock meeting because everyone made it earlier to make the guy behind them happy yeah this is funny because i in in entertainment industry like we're always just production everything like you're always just really late is there like fashion there's like on time it's like you're like 10 minutes late is like on time and then once you like get into makeup and everything then you're gonna wait another hour Mm. for everyone to get ready anyway so it's like 
when you are on time, you're just waiting, waiting. around for shit. When I did range 15, because mm-hmm. I was working with a <laughs> military. bunch of military, I rolled in at 10, a, you know, 10 past, just like any other person that was in the entertainment industry that was working on that movie. And the military guy, you guys were all sitting there like, what the fuck? Excuse me. <laughs> and I'm like, oh, that's right. Uh-huh. This isn't like my thing now. So yeah. uh, it was nice because I was like, if. If it had always been like this in sure. Hollywood, this would have been awesome. Yeah. But, but we're just not. like conditioned and like it sucks. It sucks. I'll it be, does. But it's just like, again, like today I was 20 minutes early and the person that I was working with, my husband, was <laughs> half an hour late. Uh-huh. So then I was just like pissed. Then our show well, then was he, weird. Well, Do you know what he, I mean? Well, like, he apologized to me like, hey, she's only late like, because of me. And I'm like, it's whatever, you know. But then it will be me or then it'll be someone else that's like, oh, I was this, I was this. And so it's like, you I know, always feel bad it's when just I'm the late. Collective and there's time. Lateness. I always call early. Like if I'm ever going to be even two minutes late to an appointment, I always yeah. call and say because and typically it's because of traffic that like totally. was not. I was like, yeah, or yeah, people yeah. are driving crazy because it's the rain, and I'll call them and be like, hey, I am so sorry. I think it might be five minutes late. Exactly. Typically, I'm still on time, but I feel bad, and I'll do the yeah. same thing with you. Like, hey, yeah. oh my god. Right. I might be a little bit late, 30 minutes. And you're like, I'm always like, two hours ahead of time. Do. And you're like, it's fine. It's fine. <laughs> it's okay. Don't ever apologize for being late. But <laughs> I know I would say like this. that to change, but it's just. <sighs> I've noticed that too, even watching The Real Housewives, right? I think Nini, oh The Real Housewives of uh, Atlanta, Nini made like scheduled an event, right? Like it was her own fucking event. She showed up two and a half hours late to her own damn event. Where right? girls were sitting there for an hour. With production, that's what happens. So if one person, that's crazy to me. If one person is late, the whole thing. So you're sitting there in makeup, in hair. They're all ready to fucking shoot. One person holds up the whole thing. So then you go, you get in the mindset of like, well, fuck it. Yeah, well, She's going to be fucking late. So then so you're late. late too. And then that's the one day they're on time. I can and see that. So it's just like this whole thing where you're like, well, if I'm going to fucking sit around anyways, like, fuck you. Right? Yeah. And then they'll never get like the like your instructors that were like come 15 they'll never give you the real time because they want correct you to be there waiting they want you to be waiting ready yeah so that you can wait for an hour Mm -hmm. they'd rather have that than give you your actual time you know what i'm saying so my dad being you know a father of three girls and have his wife right yeah would tell us he learned over the years that we take forever to get ready sure and that we always take longer and so we were always late to church like yes oh it was always guaranteed so we actually grew up being kind of late to things because we took so long yes to where finally now my dad and mom mainly my dad is saying hey we need to leave at 12 when really we don't need to leave till one. Oh my god they get my out, dad we get out of the house the at twelve forty-five. we end up getting there a little bit early right and then that's what he does. And I think sometimes we're all together, the girls catch on, and they're like, but really, Dad? Do we, like, Dude, really need to be, like... My and he's like, dad, no, really. how funny my dad would do that, too. Like, mm-hmm. for school, he would come up half an hour early and tell me that it was a time that it... Do you know what I mean? Yeah. It's like, Dude, you're late, you're late. Yeah. And I would get down there, and he'd be like, all right, you want breakfast or something? Yeah. I'm like, you <gasps> fucker. But, it, but it works. Thankful for it, yeah. <laughs> Anyways. <laughs> so that was a good one. That was good. That was That's good. That's good. Okay, so Fun we have an random. I know we have an awesome drinking bro of the week, so I'm excited here. So this was submitted by Christy Jordan, which, by the way, Christy, um, shout out to you because she is a um, male woman. She works for yeah. the Postal Delivery Service. Um, I know that they're still out there working throughout all of this, and we thank you for getting us all of our yeah. packages and everything. I'm sure we're ordering off a line. I know. And she said, of course, because she's walking around all day, she listens to all the podcasts. She's been listening nice. since day one of Drinking Bros. So what this up, that goes girl? out to you too, Christy. So Christy said she wants to nominate her best friend. Her best friend's name is Kristen McKemmy. Um, she wants to nominate her for Drinking Bro of the Week. We've been the best bitches for about 15 years. Watch it. That's so awesome. Best bitches. So for 15 years, ever since high school, we lost a few years when she had kids and I was still living the party life. As soon as we reconnected, it was like we hadn't missed a beat. We might not see each other, you know, every day, but we make a point to talk at least every other day on the phone. Oh, my God. She helped me get through a really hard time when I found out my daughter's father was using drugs. um, And my whole life was just, you know, upend it when he decided just to move away. Mm hmm. I wouldn't have made it through that hard time without her. Um, she encouraged me to move on. Um, and through working with her, I met the love of my life. 
Nice. Aww. She is an awesome person, a devoted mom, a hard worker. I simply couldn't imagine my life without her. Um, I know. Even though we may drift apart again one day, I know we'll always be best bitches till the end. Oh, I have goosebumps. Oh my gosh, this, I love, I love this. this. Everyone needs a friend like her in your life. I love you, B. That is so fucking true. I love that. I have a friend like that, Charmaine. And yeah. Charmaine and I have been best friends since our first year of college. And we will fall off sometimes because yeah, yeah, yeah. we just, you know, have different lives. Life. But we get back together and it's like we never miss a beat. And I, I know till the end, her mom even said it too when she met us both. You guys will be best friends till the end. No matter what. Oh, you always will have, that. you know what I mean? Yeah. So yeah. everyone needs that in their life. Yes. And Christy, thank you for a woman nominating another woman. Yes. Thank this you so much. This is important to say. Yeah. It is because we... So if we get nominations typically from people, it's always, not always, but I would say 90% are from men. It's a lot. And we love that, right? Yeah. And we love all of our man fans. We love that we're working together. But we would like to see you guys a little bit more uh, women nominating other women Mm -hmm. and supporting other women, right? Which like in the Broettes um, on Facebook, they definitely do that. The private group they do. Private group they do. And if if you guys want us to talk about anybody, it just needs to be in the Broettes podcast page because we want to keep that the Broettes um, private page private private page private and not say anything that you guys are talking about there because that's a safe space for you guys. Absolutely. But we do want to like tell your guys a story that you want to tell or yeah. talk about what you want to talk about it just needs to be um on our broettes podcast page yeah, or, just or instagram us. or dm us or whatever and um we want to hear about the amazing women in your life the, supporting other friends, women your your mom your mother-in-laws whoever it might be just we know how many of you guys are out there yeah and we just would love to hear more and you guys tell the story from your point of view which is yeah amazing and also too Feel free to bring it. Hey, can you guys mind talking about this subject or bring this up? Or I'm dealing with something like this and I would like to get another woman's perspective. We love to talk about that shit. If you're down, we want to talk about it. We will never bring up names. No. We won't bring up anything that can go ahead and identify who it is. We leave it all anonymous. And this is kind of a show for women like for, again yeah, for we, you guys. we love the fucking man fans we yeah. like that you're here listening trying to learn some shit i know we probably annoy you a lot but this show is for women and so you know we would like to see more women supporting women it's rare but i think it can be more Me right too. yeah we want to support you guys we want to shout you out we love the support that you're giving us um so and we're not saying we're not try. getting it we oh, are getting it we're getting it we're just saying we 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 like, like a little bit more submissions, you know, from women than probably women. from guys. And we would love to Look, hear but more keep, from you all. Keep it coming from all you guys. We're yeah. gonna read whatever, whether it's from guy or girl. We're, oh, absolutely. We're down, but um, we want to see it a little bit yeah. more. Let's try and make this podcast a little bit more interactive, women supporting and, supporting, and interacting yeah. with you guys. And again, we just don't want to get into your you know drinking bros broette personal business and get anyone in trouble for shit so we just don't say anything from there it's not that we're not in it and engaging we just if you want us to say stuff that's the only place to really do it yeah so if you guys do want to contact us facebook instagram twitter tiktok like literally anything (laughs) we have you guys can contact us on those um please if you guys love the podcast feel free to give us five stars on itunes just shout us out um maybe even leave a nice little comment because we read them yes and again we are actually like getting down to working on products we have samples coming in we are working on them so, so if we'll any, be giving out stuff to best reviews, yes. weirdest reviews, funnest reviews, whatever. We're going to um, be giving you guys away swag yeah. because we want to support you guys for supporting us. And also, too, we'll throw this out there. If any of you guys are really awesome graphic designers, I know a few of you guys have hit us up. You guys want to be a part of the Drinking Bruettes um, and the things that we make, like Lady Boner hats yeah. or Big to Energy stickers or whatever it might be. If you guys have an idea, hit us up with it. Yeah. If we use it, we'll give you guys free swag. You know what oh, I mean? Oh, and this is your shit. Oh, my God. This is your company. Yeah, that Sorry, is. we should have said it no, earlier. No, I don't care. We'll say it in another one. But I said it on Ross Patterson Revolution, so AmericanHeart.co. Yeah, so it's official now. I AmericanHeart.co, I opened up Wednesday. Yep. Um, I, have I ordered just, this. I got it in fucking 
two days, two days. <laughs> not even two days it's priority shipping for those yeah love it and I was like, uh, dang, you're on three it. products right now fleeces hats and everything's cute everything's awesome phone cases you have Fleece. them all yes i have them <laughs> all have i all. have the phone case i have this i have my beanie it's not on just because it's like actually I know, hot, it's hot but in here it's cold this but is, outside it's hot today. these are warm as shit like I know. if you're anywhere that's cold right now that but i also on. say too that that doesn't really it's not a windbreaker by any means <laughs> no but it's fucking it's warm so, i know shit is. yeah but that's a comfy and then um we're coming up with more stuff and we'll put drinking brewet stuff on there for the time being as well yeah so um anyone who has i know there's been some brewet fans who've reached out and said congrats i love supporting you guys and i want to support yeah. you thank you so yep. much it means so much to me because i was so nervous to start it Dude. and i still am you right. know but it's um, still, you know it's happening. So it's happening. Exciting. It's doing well. Everyone's loving the shit. I'm loving it. So appreciate it. It's gonna so, be good. And then we'll have the merch on there. So yeah, merch. We'll get it going. Merch. Oh. You know what song I still have stuck in my head again? Hmm. It's the end, end of, of the world, world as we know it. <laughs> this, this may be like not good time. I know. To say sorry. It. I don't know if you we guys are like what it's quarantined like out there, in a bunker or anything. But stay safe. Stay safe. We'll see you. Stay uh, rad. In a couple of days. Yeah. Bye. Bye. Yeah, you've been watching every move and plotting your next move on every girl I'm moving on. Yeah, don't show better things to do. Yeah, go buy some fucking shoes. Yeah.